Hey, what's up guys? So today I got another video for you and uh, today we're gonna be talking about a game called Snook. Uh, Snook is the first multiplayer snake-like. If you ever play Snook, of course, when you were a kid and your old school small little phones, it's gonna be basically that but with more things on the game. Uh, basically, a snake-like skill game that rewards talent, speed and persistence and it's the value that can finally be measured and based on your skill. So I don't know if you guys saw but I'm really into those old school, old school games like Space Invaders, Galactica um, and once again here we have Snake. So I'm trying to cover more of these games as well. They're, they're, they're just really fun to play, it's very nostalgic as well playing very old school games. So let's see what they have to offer and let's go through the website. So, Snook is an all-you-can-eat and kill or be killed game. Uh, traits determine what you what your Snook will look like. Um, basically, NFTs with different traits. How uh, much will be worth? Bling. Super rare screens are also super rare, hard to get. Uh, so, are you good enough? Basically. Um, and here we have special skins. We've created a bunch of special skins. Uh, they're not obviously not telling us who, what they are because they're gonna have different attributes. Uh, they're uh, liquid gaming skill. It's gonna be. E uh, ERC20 tokens, okay, uh, if we go down here, you can stake as well to get unique game privileges uh, and a special gaming mode, this is what I'm really interested in uh, monthly gladiators arena, wonderland, dress room fight, big boys table and they actually cover more about this on their white paper, so let's keep going down um, so these are the possible colors, patterns and swag as they call it here um, five different colors green uh, the default uh, color and i guess they're going to be different depending on the color you're going to have different attributes of course uh, that's what i'm thinking patterns as well uh, and swag i guess that's just like skins you could say that with attributes on them so we'll see what happens uh, so, uh, special skins are super rare each can be unlocked with a unique combo of traits some are tough to get you'll probably never see them we created a bunch of them so that's fine that's pretty cool you can actually get a special skin um, if you get an invitation to a tournament, so that's pretty good. Now, let's see. So this is why the, this game is very interesting, okay? And my light just started blinking for no reason, but it doesn't matter. Um, so the good thing about this game is that if you die, you actually lose your NFT, okay? So if you, if you read here, uh, it says... Um, it doesn't matter how awesome you are, everybody dies. It could be a distraction or another player blinds luck. But that's the game, and if you die, your NFT gets burnt. But you can also resurrect it, but I'm going to talk about that uh, later on. Uh, for new traits to appear, other Snook must die. Um, so yeah, I, this is going to be fun. I think this is the game that where most NFTs are going to be burned <laughs> more than any other game. Because <laughs> uh, you need to have patience to play this game. So, Resurrection. Uh, Snook is an unforgiving game. Uh, if your super rare Snook suddenly dies, not all is lost. You can resurrect it for a small fee. Um... So that's perfect. And then you have your collectibles. Every Snook has two forms. In-game Snook and the Snook card. So the NFT itself. Uh, this will be your NFT actually in-game. So it's going to be pretty fun. We have the tournaments here. Uh, but I want to go over that into a different website. Um, so the Snook economy. Okay. So let's go over how it works. Because at first it kind of looks confusing. Let's just make the screen a bit smaller. So gamers marketplace and trading. Okay. So... Obviously, the first thing is to get uh, the actual token, right? After you get your tro uh, after you get your token, you're gonna get an NFT. And obviously, if you die, um, sorry, you're gonna get a new NFT. And then the game will start once they release the game. Then NFT will get locked in game. Uh, obviously, you play, you play. If you die, it goes to this side. Snook dies in the game. But if you lose, uh, sorry, if you actually win. Snook NFT is successfully extracted and it will go to this section right here. So once you win your NFT, it will go to this area. Okay. You have the chance also when you get a, when you mint a new NFT, you can burn it as well. Okay. Uh, but if the if it's the case where you actually do lose the game, uh, Snook dies, you can resurrect it. Resurrection clock initiated, and then it says is there is there time in the resurrection clock? Obviously, how long is gonna take? And it says yes, of course. Does the user want and has the resources? Uh, if so, you will initiate the resurrection. If not, burn. So, gone basically. I guess uh, uh, in the new game, when you mint uh, a new Snook NFT and you burn it, you're going to get points for that. I'm going to guess so. 
Uh, also in the game, if you buy the token, you can go to treasury and you can stick the, uh, the skill. Uh, and you get rewards, of course, and tournament prizes. So take a look at this yourself and make sure that you know what, what it is exactly. Uh, also, and then they have their uh, frequently asked questions right here. So when will Snook be released? They're working on it, blah, blah, blah. They haven't actually said much about it. So uh, obviously, we don't need to go over all of these ones right here, obviously. Uh, you can go this one by yourself. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so if we go right here, and we go to, this is the one I'm very interested in, tournament mode. Okay, so uh, participation in the tournament is open to anyone who has the deposits and tournament pass, which is an NFT uh, minted by the stocks, uh, Snook system. Each month, the Snook system will mint a set of number of passes and then allocate them according to the following guidelines. So, this is how it works. Uh, top players, 40% uh, will be allocated to Snook owners. So if you have an NFT and it's in your wallet, that's your, uh, yeah, with the highest in-game score, you'll be able to get in one of these. Up and common, 30% will be allocated to random to any Snook owner that has at least one Snook special skin. So it's going to be important as well. Make sure you get your skins. And stakers rock. 30% will be allocated to Snook active stakers. If you're not sure if you're not, then you're not. <laughs> so these strings are going to be very important when playing the actual game. Uh, make sure that uh, you do have an NFT in your wallet and is, you know, the highest level. Um, you need to have special skins as well, and also you need to stake your uh, skill. Uh, of, of course. So then we go to tournament rules. Uh, the tournament will take place on a Snook standard map. Uh, for each tournament, we'll invite 100 to 200 players. I'm not sure how that's going to work <laughs> in terms of snake kind of style of game, but I'm excited to see what they're going to bring to the table. Uh, extraction points are disabled and I got a present in the middle of my video <laughs> so let's come back in one second and it will keep going <laughs> okay guys I'm back sorry about that my girlfriend surprised me with a birthday tennis racket even though I don't play much tennis but I'm gonna start and I love tennis so there we go let's get back to the video and so anyway we we're talking about the tournament rules right and um, Tournament matches are time limited and will not exceed 30 minutes. Uh, if a snook dies, it does not lose its traits. So you do have that option of playing tournaments where you actually don't lose your character. Uh, snooks that die in a tournament are not burned. It's basically a, a risk-free arena to play. Demonstrate your skills and show the community your prize snook possessions, such as super rare special skins. Uh, the winner will be the last snook standing. If both snooks survive at the time elapsed, the snook will... Uh, oh yeah, the snook with the higher score wins. So yeah, I, I, this is gonna be really good to kind of just practice a uh, different kind of game uh, tournaments. And uh, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, tournament prices: the total prize pool is up 12% of the total treasury standings at the moment of the tournament match starts. The prize pool is relative to the ratio of invited players up to the tournament to the actual participating in it. Okay. So then we got then we, this is the one I really like. Basically, like PVP. Then we have challenge mode. Uh, a snook challenge is a 1v1 PvP mode that provides an awesome way to demonstrate your skills and crush other players and also win very cool prizes, most of which cannot get into a normal play mode. So this is the kind of mode that you will go if you're, you know, you already have experience playing on tournament mode and you know what you're doing. Once again, kill or be killed. Environment. The contrast uh, to snook standard gameplay, all the challenges are in one versus one. The map itself is much smaller and shrinks, o shrinks over time with a similar to... B yeah, basically like, like Battle Royale. That's why I really like it. So it's going to be fun. Uh, as opposed to like actual snake where the map doesn't get smaller, but your the snake gets bigger, right? So less of a map. So I don't know if there's going to... Both attributes are going to play uh, around the same in the game. So we have challenge and types. Challenge type, sorry. Uh, three types of uh, there are three different challenge types planned to be released over time to Snook game Wonderland, uh, Dress Room Fight, and Big Boys Table, like I mentioned before in the video. Uh, Wonderland, uh, Wonderland, uh, the pairs are selected at random matchmaking. The winner is awarded a random special trait that can be achieved only in this challenge mode. If a Snook dies in this challenge, you cannot resurrect it. Oof. If a Snook dies and dropped a normal trait, uh, the winner is able to consume them like the standard gameplay. So yeah, if you're gonna play Wonderland, make sure you go in and you're confident because this is gonna be a tough one. Uh, dress room uh, fight. 
the this type is similar to Wonderland Challenge, except that it's an open for only snooks with special skins, and and there's an entropy that equals the cost of a single trade snook resurrection. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, so first of all, you need a skin, to, and you have to pay a fee. So yeah, kind of similar. Basically, it's more like a special type of a uh, gameplay. Then big boys table. Let's see what this one has to offer. In this type of challenge, you can create a private 1v1 game. So it's going to be like creating a server, basically. It's going to be fun. Anyone can create or join a BBT room. When you create a BBT room, you're required to allocate collateral. So you have to put some of your tokens in order to open a server. And also pay a fee that is 2.5 of the, of the collateral. So yeah, that's quite pri pricey. But it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is to avoid uh, rooms privileges being abused also we need to make uh, a living if somebody wants to join a bbt room uh, she will have to match the collateral to pay the same 2.5 fee and um, once you create the bbt room you can exit it and be refunded after 50 minutes no one join okay so that's pretty good oh so it's kind of you can open it and people can join and challenge you or you can invite your friends and if you just open it randomly then if no one joins then you get refunded that's pretty good. The winner of the challenge takes both collaterals minus the uh, fee she paid. If a snook died in this type of challenge, it cannot be resurrected. So that's why it's called the big boy table. Make sure that you're confident going into this tree. This is very, very, <laughs> going to be very hard to play this one. Uh, economy review. I already talked about the economy overview, so we don't have to go over that. Uh, the token itself. Uh, the token itself is SNK, okay? It's not scale like, they mentioned, like I mentioned in the actual uh, beginning of the video. Um, so that sells perfect. You can go for some of the, this stuff as well um, on your own time. So if you go to their uh, Twitter as well, and uh, you can see that they're finally working with Certify Fund. This is uh, I'm actually do have money in Certify Fund for the past four days because it's skyrocket. Um, so I think it'll keep going up. It definitely will keep going up. So pay attention in the Certify Fund S Fund. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, guys, this is uh, basically the game, and uh, I'm very excited to play this game. Um, I think it has a lot to offer. Definitely different, definitely old school, very nostalgic game. So I'll keep up, uh, keep updating you when the game will release. It says coming soon here, and um, yeah, I'll be definitely making more videos on this, and hopefully, I get to play the game soon. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, comment below if you have any other games that I can actually uh, review. Uh, okay, guys, thank you very much. Take care.